In Chemistry 202, you learned about the chemistry of some carbonyl compounds, specifically carboxylic acid derivatives, carboxylic acids, esters, amides, and acid chlorides, for example. These functional groups, as well as ketones and aldehydes, contain the CO double bond or carbonyl group. The frontier molecular orbitals of the carbonyl group determine its reactivity. Its homo is the sp2 hybridized lone pair on oxygen, which is, as nucleophiles go, not very high energy. So carbonyl groups don't usually behave as donors of electrons. Its lumo is CO pi star, which is quite a good acceptor orbital. So carbonyl groups typically act as electrophiles. Some of these functional groups are more electrophilic than others though. Let's explain this in terms of molecular orbital energies, starting with the simplest carbonyl containing functional group, the aldehyde. It basically has a naked, plain old CO pi star orbital. If we move to a ketone, there are alkyl groups adjacent to the CO pi star orbital. And those alkyl groups have filled sigma bonding orbitals either CC or CH, that can overlap with the CO pi star. When a filled orbital overlaps with an empty one, we get new orbitals, one lower in energy, where the electrons go, and one higher in energy. Since the original CO pi star orbital and the filled sigma bonding orbital were very far apart in energy, this effect is pretty minimal. We're not really making any new true bonds, we're just tweaking the energies of the existing orbitals. But there is a small effect. The CO pi star orbital of a ketone is slightly higher in energy than the CO pi star orbital of an aldehyde. And ketones are slightly less electrophilic than aldehydes. A similar effect influences the electrophilicity of carboxylic acid derivatives. Let's take a look at carboxylic acids, esters, and amides all together. Next door to their CO pi star orbitals, they have lone pairs on oxygen or nitrogen. These are much higher in energy than the sigma bonding orbitals we saw on the ketone. So they have a much more significant effect. Both the carboxylic acid and the ester orbitals overlap to make a new lower energy orbital and a new higher energy orbital. This really means that the lone pairs here are especially stable, and the pi star orbitals are quite high in energy. So carboxylic acids and esters are even less electrophilic than ketones. For the amide, the nitrogen lone pair is higher in energy than the oxygen ones we just saw, since N is less electronegative than O. So the lone pair overlaps better with CO pi star, and the effect is even greater. That nitrogen lone pair is quite stabilized, and the CO pi star orbital is pushed quite high in energy. So amides are the least electrophilic of all the carboxylic acid derivatives. Acid chlorides, the last of the carboxylic acid derivatives we'll look at, are a bit of an anomaly. They too have a lone pair on the atom adjacent to the CO pi star orbital, but this time it's on chlorine. Chlorine is in the row below carbon and oxygen on the periodic table, so it and its valence orbitals are significantly larger than that pi star orbital. This means that the lone pair doesn't physically overlap very well with CO pi star. That poor overlap, combined with the relatively high electronegativity of chlorine, actually lowers the energy of CO pi star for an acid chloride relative to an aldehyde. So acid chlorides are the most electrophilic of the carbonyl compounds we'll study.